discuss today what fruits people having diabetes can eat. This is important because the sugar content in each kind of fruit varies and your blood sugar will also vary accordingly. This discussion will be limited mostly to the common fruits that Sri Lankans enjoy and being imported to Sri Lankan fruit markets. All fruits have natural sugars, a mix of sucrose, fructose and glucose. It is important to know the sugar content in the fruit you eat because ultimately they are broken down into glucose in the gut and raises your blood sugar. The graph shows two lines. The bottom black line shows the curve of a normal non-diabetic and the upper red line shows the curve of a diabetic after eating fruits. In an uncontrolled diabetic situation, the blood sugar may rise to about 180 milligrams or even more, whilst non-diabetic curve rises to 140 milligrams and then it slopes down. If your blood sugar is not controlled, you should avoid fruits until it is well controlled with diet, exercise and or medication. Still, those taking anti-diabetic tablets to control blood sugar should be very careful to restrict the amount of fruits you enjoy. On the other hand, those diabetics on insulin injections have the freedom of eating fruits and taking a bit more insulin than the usual amount if required. Some fruits have high in sugar. For instance, pineapple has 16 grams per slice, pears 17 grams of sugar per medium sized pear, banana 17 grams large size, watermelon 18 grams, pomegranate 39 grams, apples 19 grams. An apple a day will keep the doctor away, does not apply for diabetics. Grapes have 15 grams, mangoes have 46 grams, durians have 30 grams per fruit, prunes 66 grams, raisins 86 grams. Dates have about 93 grams, Dried fruits have high sugar content. It is best to avoid, the diabetes should avoid eating dried fruits. The ones with low sugar are raspberry, not available in Sri Lanka. A cupful is only five grams of sugar. <coughs> Popo or papo, five grams in a segment. Cherries, 13 grams. Berries, melons, peaches, grapes all have approximately about 8 grams. Citrus fruits like oranges, lemons 1.5 grams and lime 1.1 gram. Guavas 4.9 grams. You know that Diet Coke is sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. Contains 39 grams of sugar in 12 fluid ounce serving. Drinking these sugary drinks is a risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. Choose diet soda which has low calories and low sugar. Fruits are not essential to life. All the nutrients in fruits are found in most vegetables. Most fruits are naturally low in fat and calories. Fruits and vegetables have potassium, dietary fiber, vitamin C and folate. Diets rich in potassium helps to maintain healthy blood pressure. Fruits and vegetables also contain phytochemicals. These are compounds produced by plants found in fruits, vegetables, grains and beans and other plants. They protect cells from damage that could lead to cancer. These phytochemicals are divided into various types. Carotenoids are plant pigments responsible for the yellow, 
orange and red color of many fruits and vegetables, including red pepper, papayas, paprika, tomatoes, and watermelon. The other phytochemicals are polyphenols, flavonoids, anthocyanins, resveratrol, and so on. There's a high quantity of resveratrol in the, wine, in the red wines. Phytochemicals also have antioxidant properties. An antioxidant is a compound that prevents another molecule from becoming oxidized. When molecules in the body become oxidized, free radicals are formed. Rusting metal, like your gate, is a form of oxidation. It destroys the metal, likewise metal. Likewise, free radicals are very unstable and cause damage within the body as they break down. The message that you take home is that if you are a diabetic, you should, be, you should avoid eating fruits containing large amounts of sugar. Fruits are not essential to provide nutrients including phytochemicals and antioxidants. Veggies supply all of that including fiber. Hope this talk was useful.